yeah, I'm watching up, bringing up babies. Aaron's having a baby. But, um, down here, I decided I'm going to go through down here and show you all the DVDs, covers, and there's some VHSs of some movies that I think are good for you to watch, either for you or for your kid. And just for funsies. So come along with me. Let's look. Now some of these you've probably already seen before, some of these you have not. So let's get started. Here's my DVDs. That would be also cool for a little kid. They could enjoy the car there's a cartoon version of Alice in the Wonderland and then there's a movie movie version. And your kid between eight and up might like it. Adult. This one's called Through the Looking Glass. So it's all about the Mad Hatter, which is really cool. And I really enjoy this one the best. The next one is the best of Lassie shows, which is three episodes of Lassie. Yeah, that Timmy became popular um, episodes, and the Jeff ones didn't, called Jeffrey's colleague or whatever. That was from season one through four, and how he, how Timmy got Lassie was because Jeff moved away. Which is, I think is weird. The next one is 10 Things I Hate About You, the movie. There is a TV show of 10 Things I Hate About You. And usually when they make movies into TV shows, it's not very good. But this one is the bomb. And this is with Julia Stiles and Andrew Keegan. And, and it's just a really cute teenage type movie so it's PG-13 but yeah and then this is rated R called Tyler Perry's Boo a Medea's Halloween 1 and 2 um this got some YouTubers in it like um like Yusuf Fousey too if you remember him back in the day it's got Alex Wasabi, I think he's in the second one, and then it's got Stupid Lauren, and I think she's in the second one too, and they're not even together anymore, and speaking of YouTubers, I've been watching a sh um, show that I found free, sorry Joey Kaseffa if you're watching this or his fans or whatever, but I found Escape the Night season 1, 2, and 3 for free on a 1, 2, 3 movies. Um, website, sorry, but I'm just not going to pay for YouTube Prime, I think it's stupid, and I will be honest, I saw season 3, and I really, really like season 3, because it's more gory, more, got clowns, more scarier, my favorite one is the little twin dudes with the little mask, and they look like kiss dolls or whatever. Those are my favorite scary one, people. And they've got, you know, all that sorts of stuff. And then I tried to watch, and I'm still in the middle of, with Alex, when he used to date Lauren, uh, Escape the Night 2. And I'm just, I'm not really liking Escape the Night 1 and 2, where they figure out clues and stuff, and then vote off people in a mansion type situation it just wasn't scary enough it just was kind of bleh but i like escape the night three it was not blah it was pretty good i liked it it was pretty awesome and yeah they had to figure out clues and stuff and kill people off but it was more i don't know and then joey kasefa announced that there's going to be escape the night Four coming out and if you've seen how Escape Tonight 3 ends you will probably figure out what Escape Tonight 4 is going to be like because in Escape Tonight 2 at the end he, he has to 
he's dead and to make himself become alive again he has to go to this co this carnival place and save people and then you can bring people back from the dead if you have this crystal he figures that out in Escape Night 3 and so in Escape Night 4 this is now this isn't a spoiler this isn't something he came up with this is just my observation this is what I think Escape Night 4 is going to be about I think it's going to be about where you bring people back from one, from Escape the Night 1, 2, and 3. They all come back to life and he makes it happen. That's what I think the fourth one's going to be about. Not 100%, but that's just my opinion. So anyways, back to what I was showing you here. Here's the back of um, Medea's Boo Halloween. Here is, now, this might have to be a two-parter, so, sorry about that. This is the second one. The first one is way better than the second one, and I did see the funeral one, and there is some parts in the funeral one that are pretty funny, but most of it is pretty boring, to be honest. And it's the last one, and it's with these characters. What they should have did was make another Halloween movie to say goodbye to Medidas. I don't know why he wants to quit playing her, but he does, and it's kind of sad. Okay, but even though I wasn't really into the second one, I still bought it because it goes with the first one, and it has YouTubers in it, and yeah. Gold Diggers with uh, Christina Ricci, who's from the Casper movies to the girl that was in the My Girl movies 1 and 2 and, and something whether how do you say her name um, this is if you've never seen Gold Diggers you should see it uh, it's about this the My Girl bad girl who takes them into a, a mountain thinking it's got gold or whatever um, I did do movie reviews on some of these movies, so if you want to know what they're about, because I'm not going to tell you what every one's about, I'm just going to tell you a brief summary, a little bit, then go to my channel and check it out. I think I made a playlist called White Cats Vlogs Reviews, so check that out. <laughs> Next one. Oh. And that is a PG-13 movie. Small Soldiers is a PG-13 movie, but parents, you choose if you want your little kids to watch this or not. I think they would enjoy it if they understand this the storyline, the situation. It's with that Gregory Smith guy who's from Smallville, I think. Is it Smallville? I know it's small something. Anyways show and it's with these alien toys that come these toys that come to life there's bad ones and there's good ones and there, if you guys know Christina Dunst from Crazy Beautiful the Bring It On first movie she's in this and her Barbies go crazy they come to life and go crazy there's the Gregory Smith character and some others if you can see that so, go watch that. If I didn't do a review on one of these movies, and you would like a review on them, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll make one. If you want to know more details on the movie. Glamis and Juliet with gnomes. And if you play Sims 4 on PC, you can actually be a gnome for one of your Sims. It's kind of funny. If you had seasoning package to go with and by the way if dragon angry dragon if you're watching thank you thank you so much for buying me because they have all these packs for 50% off from 40 to 20 bucks and he bought me the seasons or he gifted me the seasons pack and that was so nice of you dragon I don't know what 
you guys should check out his channel even though he doesn't make too many hardly any videos like he should but you should follow him on twitch because he has he does go live on there playing video games he does guitar hero which he plays really good music to that and he does sims sometimes on there and he's just really outgoing funny guy i mean yes he has a disability but he doesn't let it phase him and he's just funny he's awesome he's a great friend and that meant so much to me that he gave me seasons because i got new clothes because i was getting tired of the old so that was really sweet of him and i want to do something nice for him but i don't know what yet but go on. I do have mixture game videos that you could check out. Um, they should be in the playlist, live streams, or slash games. And some of his gameplays is in some of those. You can watch them and see for yourself if you like them. But Glamis and Juliet is a really good movie. It's great for kids. My nephew likes it. It's Pretty entertainment, so check it out. Um, this one is on. There is a DVD of ET, but um, this is the VHS version that I've had. I don't know how I got it or whatever, but yeah, it's basically about aliens and stuff. Which, if you know me from my Twitter. I am Alien88. I love, love, love alien stuff. The green, green aliens. I don't know why. I just do. Now, I'm definitely going to have to make this different parts. So, what I'll probably do is make this part one. And then probably post another video. And then do part two. You know, spread it out in parts. So, you can, for people that are not into knowing about what DVDs are good to buy and stuff like that. This one's with Johnny Depp and Winona Ryder. Um, it's Edward Scissorhands. My nephew loves it. It's a PG-13 type movie. My favorite part is when he's in the waterbed and accidentally pops holes in the waterbed and the water goes crazy. That's my favorite scene. The snow scene is also a good one. But it's basically a movie about this guy who is not accepted into the world because of his hands but they find out he can do really good artwork and and stuff with the bushes and the hairs and whatnot with those scissors so they accept him and then yeah all these bad things start happening and yeah so that's a good movie another good movie is called over the Hedge, which I recorded on VHS at one time. So, Over the Hedge is a really good animal movie where it t shows animals why they go to people's houses and take their food and stuff. My nephew really loves this movie. It's a PG movie and it's really entertainment, it's really good for kids. And it's just funny. I actually enjoy. Don't mind watching that a million times with my nephew. Ice Age, the meltdown. There's tons of different Ice Age movies. These are good for kids. They're really funny. That squirrel right there with the nut is so funny in every single one of these movies. He cracks me the hell up. And I think you guys should check it out. It's pretty entertainment. Um, there's some behind the scenes stuff. My nephew's starting to get into, I want to see who does the voice of so-and-so. Let's look at the behind the scenes. How they make this. Blah, blah, blah. And he's 13 with uh, autism, so it's pretty cool. You know what? Let me take out the... The... What you call it? The... The cover. And that's... So it's the same, basically. Okay, on to the next one. I will see you guys in part two. So, to be continued to part two. Later, haters.